Here's another example of how to reduce. And once again, I'm going to use these two uh, different options. Up here, I'm going to do the dividing option. And down here, I'm going to do the uh, factoring into primes technique. Um, first thing I do when I'm looking for division, that using the division technique, if they both end in 0, automatically, that means you could divide by 10. And then your result is going to be a hunt, uh, 15 over 30. So basically, a lot of people learn that the shortcut for reducing fractions that end in 0 is just chop off the 0, and you're going to get 15 over 30. And then I see, oh, both of these are divisible by 5. And I get 3 over, let's see, 3 over 6. And then, oh, look at that. Both of those are divisible by 3 which means my result is 1 half. So it's pretty easy to see that 150 over thir uh, one, uh, 300 is equal to 1 half. We can check our work because really 150 is half of 300, so that makes it kind of a, an easy problem to reduce. But you understand that the idea for how to reduce a fraction is you're constantly dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Down here, we're going to factor it into primes. And once again, we better get the answer of a half, otherwise we've goofed up someplace. So let's see. Um, since these end in zeros, I automatically know this is going to be 15 times 10. And then down here, automatically I know it's going to be 30 times 10. All of these can be factored even further. So 15 becomes 5 times 3. And, well, I don't like the little x. I like the dot and then times, and then 10 is 5 times 2, over, and then in the denominator, we've got 30 becomes, let's see, we could do 6 times 5, and then 10 is 5 times 2, and then 6 can further be factored to 3 times 2, so I'm going to kind of cross that off and replace it with a 3 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 2, so there we go. Everything's prime now. Now we're ready to start finding the, um, the fractions that equal one whole. For example, 5 over 5 right here, 5 over 5 is equal to 1 over 1. So that's like one whole. 5 over 5 is equal to one whole. Similarly, 2 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1. And then let's see, do we have any others? Yeah, here's a 3 and here's a 3. So this 3 over this 3 is equal to 1 over 1. And then, hey, there's even more. Look at this. Here's a 5, and here's a 5. So 5 over 5 is equal to 1 over 1. So we end up with, in the numerator, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Don't get tricked and think that the answer is 4. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And then down here, we've got a 1 times a 2. There's a little 2 in there. Don't, don't lose that 2 times 1 times 1 times 1. And that answer is 2. And sure enough, lo and behold, look at that. Our fraction of 150 over 300 reduces to 1 half. So we've got these two different techniques. And your job is to uh, figure out which technique is your favorite and uh, use it. Or uh, learn them both and uh, just switch back and forth depending on the problem.